Okay, let's get started adding some services to our website for purchase using PayPal. You'll want to go to paypal.com and sign up for a free business account if you don't already have one. The easiest way to do that is to click on their business tab and then click sign up for free. You only need the free account in order to do what we're about to do. So you would continue for zero per month. Once you have a PayPal account and you're logged in, you might either see the old PayPal screen or you might see the new PayPal for business screen. Either one, we can still create the same types of payment buttons, so don't worry. Okay, let's get started. And don't judge me for my balance here, okay? This is a website I haven't really launched yet. So anyway, if you're in the old PayPal screen, what you're gonna do is click on My Business Setup under the My Account Tools here over on the right. You could optionally get there through Merchant Services, but we'll just click My Business Setup over here on the right. Now that we're here, it's giving us the popular ways to get paid. We wanna select the one that says on your website because we're gonna add some payment buttons. In another video, I'll show you how to set up an actual shopping cart using PayPal if you want people to be able to add multiple items. But for now, click add a payment button on, on your website. If you have the new PayPal, what you would do is log in and then go down to the tools and click business setup from here. You'll get the same screen, so you'll wanna click add a payment button on the on your website tab. So now we're in the same place, whether we have the old PayPal account or the new one. So let's get started. One thing to keep in mind is that PayPal does have these automatic buttons that we can paste in, but we can also design our own buttons if you want something that matches more with your brand or just looks better on your website. So there are a number of different types of buttons that you can do whether it be the add to cart later when we set up a whole shopping cart or if you're taking donations, you could do a donate button. If you're doing a subscription type service, you could do a subscribe button. But we're just gonna create a regular buy now button for now. So I'm gonna come up here and select create a button. Again, up here you can choose the, the type of button. We're gonna leave it on buy now. For the item name, I'm going to do a three hour consulting package. Your item ID here is a way for you to just keep track of all of your items. So I might do 3H consulting as a way for me to remember it. Now I'm gonna set my price, 200 US dollars. You see you can do all these different types of currencies. If this were a physical item, we could choose a specific amount of shipping. And if we know that we need to pay taxes in our state on specific services or products, you could add your tax rate right here. Instead of setting up multiple buttons for different types of packages, for example, I'm doing a three hour consulting package and then I might also create a five hour consulting package and an eight hour consulting package, PayPal is a really interesting feature that allows you to add a drop down with price options. So I could just name this consulting package and I could have option one be three hours for 200, option two be five hour package for such and such price and so on and so on. So that's one way for you to get everything all in one and then have this really unique drop down feature here on your website. However, I'm gonna just create three separate buttons so you can get used to it and because your services may not be as related as mine are by different consulting packages, okay? So we're leaving this as a three hour consulting package price. The item ID is up there. I'm not gonna do any shipping because this will be delivered either in person or via something like FaceTime or Google Hangouts or Skype. I'm not gonna put in a tax rate since this is not a taxable service for me, but you'll need to check in your city and state what your tax specifications are. Then you can either choose to use your primary email address on this checkout screen or your secure merchant ID so that spammers don't have access to your email. That's basically the pur purpose of that. Then you're gonna to wanna to expand step two, all right, and it gives us some really really cool options here first off let's save the button because this makes it easier to recreate similar buttons in the future next let's track inventory because let's say that in any given time period I only want to sell a certain amount of this 3h consulting which we know is the three hour consulting package so for now I'm gonna say I only have 10 in stock and I want PayPal to alert me when I only have three left 
You can choose whatever numbers you want here, but that's what the alert quantity is. Can customers buy this item when it's sold out? So I can either allow more customers to buy it as usual, or I can cut people off if I am sold out of a certain package. This is really good for those of you who are selling products and you only have a certain number of products on hand, okay? So if customers try and add an item that you're sold out of, PayPal gives you a little preview of what that will look like, which it will just say sold out, zero quantity, okay? So if customers decide to click continue shopping, once they see that an item is sold out, they're on an item sold out page, you can specify a URL on your website that you want customers to go to after they click that continue shopping button. So this could be a page that says something like, sorry, we're out of XYZ item, here's something comparable. This could be your main store page. This could be any page you want them to be able to go to, okay? I'm gonna leave this at yes, customers can buy the item as usual, okay? Now I'm gonna expand step three. Do I want my customer to be able to change order quantities? So for those of you selling products or services that you think people might want multiple instances of, you can click yes, and that will allow some customer to, for example, buy my three hour consulting package, but actually purchase three of them at a time. Click no if you don't want that to be possible. Can your customer add special instructions in a message to you? Yes. If you select that, then this is the message they'll see. You can change it by typing in new text with this 40 character limit. So I'm just gonna say, any questions for me? You can also click no if you don't want a customer to be able to send some type of special instructions to you. This might be a good place for you to ask for their preferred email address or something like that. But each PayPal payment is gonna be connected to a customer's email address. Do you need the customer's shipping address? Obviously, if you're sending a product, you'll wanna leave this clicked yes. If not, you might wanna select no so that the customer does not have to enter a shipping address or home address each time they buy a product from you. If a customer cancels their checkout before they finish, you can select this option and enter in a URL from your website that your customer is taken to when they cancel their order. It might be something like a special coupon code to encourage them to make a purchase in the future or something like that. When customers have finished their checkout and processed their payment, you can also choose to take them to a specific URL on your website. I would make this something like a thank you page. So I'm gonna enter in a URL for a thank you page on my website. On this page, you might wanna tell customers something like, I'll be in touch with you within 48 hours to set up our consulting session, or have no fear, your items will be mailed out within 24 hours, or whatever message it is that you want to give people. I recommend leaving a customer service contact email address or phone number or whatever you're comfortable with giving. When you're done with all of your options, you can press the create button button. Now we have code that we can add to our web page. If we want to just leave the PayPal button as is with the buy now image and all the different types of cards that they accept underneath it, then we can copy this code directly into our website. If you want to use your own button, the easiest way to do that is to create your own button image and then use the link that they provide as this email link as the linked URL of your button. I'm going to show you how to do both. First, let's take their code and paste it into our site. So I've selected all of the code and I'm going to press Command C on my Mac to copy that code. And then I'm going to go to my site as we have it set up now to the shop page and I'm going to press edit page. Optionally, you can get there from being in your dashboard, clicking on pages, and then finding the page you wanna edit, rolling your mouse over it, and pressing edit, okay? Once you're in the page edit screen, what you can do is add your code directly into your box, but what you have to make sure is that the text tab is selected. The visual tab pastes things in just as you paste them in, so code would show up on my screen, okay? It doesn't take any HTML or any type of code. So you'll wanna click on the text tab and then put your cursor wherever it is you want this button and paste it. I'm gonna press Command V on my Mac in order to paste it. Now you might also want some type of product description, a picture that goes with your image or something like that. So I'm gonna add some text. I'll switch back to the visual tab and then add text above it. Three hour consulting package. You might also want to add some descriptive text about your package so that people know what it is they're purchasing. I recommend adding 
a picture, adding text, adding anything you can think of to make it as appealing, interactive, awesome as possible. But for right now, just showing you how to set this up, I'm going to just add text like, I'm going to make the title of my package a little bit bigger, a little bit more appealing. So I'm going to roll my mouse over the kitchen sink, as it's called, and expand it. And instead of making this regular paragraph text, I'm going to make it heading two, so it's going to make it much bigger. Let's also add a price so people know how much they're paying for this package. And then let's update our page and view the page to see what it looks like. Okay, so I'm going to press view page after I've updated it. And now we can see what our item looks like. Through our consulting package, here's our price. Here's our description and then the buy now button. I just want to show you what would happen if a customer's on my site and clicks buy now, they'll be taken to a PayPal checkout page and they'll be able to see what they're about to buy, the three hour consulting package, the price, and they can either pay with their PayPal account or pay with a debit or credit card, which is a great option for you to accept debit and credit card payments from your customers uh, on your website basically. So I'm going to hit back here and get back to our site and what I want to show you really quickly is how we might customize this and make this look even better. Okay, so when you're on any page on your WordPress site, if you're logged in, you'll see this black or dark gray bar up here. You should be able to press edit page to get back to the edit screen. So what I'm going to do is add an image to our item. So you'll do that by putting your cursor where you want the image and then pressing add media. Then you'll select upload files, unless it's already stored in your media library, you can select it from there. Once you select upload files, you can press select files to get it from your computer. I'm gonna use a cute little image I made really quickly. So you select it, press open. And what you'll wanna do for SEO purposes is title this item and put some good alt text with this item as well to be as uh, helpful as possible. So let's see. We'll do a three hour consulting package for small businesses and bloggers as the title. This is not gonna show up on the page. Uh, this just takes place in the code of your website. If you want text that shows up on the page, you can add a caption and that will create a, an actual caption under your image. So for me, I am going to say that I want this either left, center, or right aligned or none. I'm gonna leave it at none so it just places it in the page exactly where my cursor is but doesn't wrap text around it. You can either link it to the file itself or to a different URL. I'm gonna select none. I don't want people to be able to click on the image and go anywhere. For now, I'm gonna show you how to change that. And then you can select what size you want it inserted at. So the original size you designed it at, which would be full size or medium or thumbnail. A thumbnail crops it to a square. I'm gonna select full size for now and then press insert into page. So now we have our item title, our picture, and then a description. Lastly, if you wanted to change this buy now button to something that maybe matches the feel of your website a little bit, we're gonna to have to go back to the code. So I'm gonna to go to this text tab and then this place that we entered in the code for this button starts from the input to all the way down to this ending form tag. I'm gonna actually delete that for now, okay? And I'm gonna go back to our PayPal page where we generated that code. I'm gonna click on the email link instead. Now this URL, I'm gonna copy, Command C on a Mac, and I'm gonna upload my own button into this website and link it to that URL. So I'm gonna press add media and upload files again and select files. And now I'm gonna use the buy now button that I created. You might wanna do that if you want your button to have a certain font or to match your site in some way. So I'm just gonna title it buy now, alt text, I'm gonna say buy now as well. And then I'm gonna leave the alignment at none. Instead of linking to a media file or any of these other things, I'm gonna select custom URL and I'm gonna paste in the URL that I just copied from PayPal. I want the button to be full size and so I'm gonna press insert into page now. Now this just looks like code because we're in the text tab, but if you switch back to the visual tab, you'll be able to see what the button looks like now, okay? So now I'm gonna press update and we'll view the page live on the site. Now that it's updated, we press view page up here and we can see our package, our image, our description. You'll probably wanna make that a little bit longer. And now this buy now button, let's see its functionality. So I'm gonna click on it and you'll notice it takes me back to the exact same page that we saw before. That's how you would add an item to your website with a buy now button with PayPal and either use their built-in code and button that looks like this, 
or use your own code. Keep in mind you can also send this link via email or add this link to your Twitter account or Facebook or wherever it is that you're trying to sell an item from. This code will take somebody directly to that PayPal payment page that we just saw earlier. In the next video, we're going to review how you can add products and services via PayPal as a shopping cart so people could add multiple items instead of just clicking buy now and having to either process that transaction or cancel, okay? So stay tuned.